guys, it's Mary, and in today's video, I'm using this Barbie fashion plate set to make some art. Pretty sure this is from the 90s. I'm not entirely sure though, but I tried looking for it online, and that's what everything said. But for those unaware, this is what they are. It comes with multiple different plates that have engravings on them, and when you put paper over them, you can just you can draw on them. I think you're supposed to use crayon. I use colored pencil just because that's what I had. There's a car horn now. <laughs> but you're supposed to be able to rub your utensil over the paper on top of this and it'll leave the mark of what's on there. So I, my first drawing I went with this combination. Uh, I kind of talked over the other bit but like they have different designs on each side. Then you put the paper down and you just rub across. It wasn't really working that well for me. I'm not, once again, like, I feel like I remember using crayon on this, not colored pencil, so maybe that's part of it, but I was having a lot of trouble finding the lines and getting them to show up. I guess, like, her shirt, where there was more, where there was more details, those seem to work out a lot better. But most things, I was having trouble getting them to show up, and... Alright, I was in the middle of my voiceover and my camera battery died, but as I was saying, you can see like the lines, like it didn't just stop there, and it made a lot of indents in the back. And I feel like it came out cleaner on the back than on the front. Yes, yeah, so then I decided to try another one. I, I just used that same paper on the other side, and once again, it's sort of the same results, just not... Like, you can see me like feeling for the outlines because I just didn't even know what I was drawing. But it just, it really didn't seem super helpful. I, I tried doing these close-ups because I thought they looked cool, but I don't think they do. But you can see, like, it's not really stopping me from coloring anywhere else. And, like, it's making the other lines a bit darker, but not by much. And here, I totally messed up her face. It's real ratchet. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. It kept, it pushed the lead out of my pencil. But yeah, you can see, like, it's just very messy. Not really going that well. And this one, it actually tore through the paper. And then I, I went over and decided I was just gonna try erasing to see if I could clean it up a bit. I, I included way too much this part. It didn't really change much at all. If anything, I feel like I lost a lot of the lines that I was trying to keep. And then once again, really not that different. And I went and started coloring them in. This part was honestly pretty easy because it was just plain coloring. I didn't have any plans or anything for doing a certain color set. I just chose what I had. And here's this one all colored. Oh, also, uh, my apologies for the camera setup. This is a close to the only way I could get a top down, and you can very clearly see the Xbox in the shoebox, but here's just what I could come up with. go over to get a nice even color on his skirt and it just was not happening. I think that's more my fault than the pencil or the art or anything. Yeah, so here's this one finished. And then I do, I do show both of them, but I didn't flip it upside down for the other one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and bye.